Hey guys, welcome to Tesh Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to learn about the, what is the major difference between a web element and a web driver interface. We're going to see a couple of examples. In the end, we're going to see a practical demo. So let's get started. All right, guys. So first of all, let me tell you why it is important to know the difference between these two interfaces. First of all, these are interfaces, not classes. Lots of people in interview are confused about it. So if you are someone who has three to five years experience, make sure you note it down. Web driver as well as the web element are interfaces. They are not classes, right? So let's jump into one by one and let's tackle this important interview question, which is what the major difference between them, right? So let, let's talk about it, right? Uh, first of all, I have already told you about that web driver that we use generally, right? So web driver new is equal to new Firefox driver. You have seen in the code of Selenium, right? You have basically implement, we have used it, right? Many times. So it is an interface node in class, right? So it contains lots of different methods, which helps you to automate any kind of a web application, right? And the point here is that it's very simple. Uh, different browser means if we have made a generic driver, web driver then uh, then it, it it right so the point here is very simple uh remote the for right yeah so let's uh, talk about the third point which is the remote web driver class remote web driver class implements the web driver interface right which extends from the by the browser drivers right so uh, if you uh, see right we have the first which is search context right and after that we have a web driver interface so search context is again an interface which contains element which contains method like find element and find elements that we have discussed earlier right uh, after that it basically implements web driver web driver contains lots of different fun functions that we're going to discuss right and after that we have a web uh, remote web driver uh, class, which is a class, and after that we have three classes like uh, Chrome Web Driver class, Firefox class, IE, Opera, HTML unit, right? So that is uh, there, right? And all these classes basically implement this interface. It basically means that they have their own way to handle these methods, right? They have basically implemented these methods which are provided in the web driver, right? What are the methods? Let's talk, talk about it. So why interface? Why this is an interface? This is very simple. A uh, very simple concept, right? Uh, we have different versions of browsers, right? We have Chrome, which has a different implementation, right? We have multiple browsers and they have multiple different implementation, right? So we cannot make more generic, but what we can do is that we can make this class as an interface and tell that, okay, these are the method that you should know because these are the important method we think for the web automation. So we provide set of set of functions, which are the, the basically provided in the interface and these classes like Chrome, WebDriver, Firefox, Opera, IE, they will basically implement in their own way, right? So that if you are using Chrome WebDriver, it works according to the Chrome driver. It, uh, if you are using Firefox, then it works according to Firefox. If you are using IE, it works according to IE. That's what, that's why it is an interface. Make sense? So, uh, basically we need to provide a common function, which basically uh, we, we wanted to provide a common functions which are supported by all of the browsers. That's why we have made them. Uh, WebDriver is an interface and they're like Chrome, WebDriver, Firefox and IER classes. That makes sense, right? So uh, let's talk about a couple of things. Search context is the topmost interface, right? It contains two methods, which is find element and find elements, right? Uh, these two elements uh, are abstract ones, right? Uh, these are the two methods that we have discussed. So find element, you know that uh, if you want to find a single web element, it's a find element. If you want to find number of elements, uh, it's basically find element that we have discussed earlier, right? Right. So that's all about the web driver interface, right? So let's talk about the web element, right? Again, uh, web element, again, it's again, it's an interface, not a class, right? Uh, so web, web, what are web elements? Web elements are nothing but basically if you have seen any kind of HTML page, right? We have different web ele uh, elements, right? HTML is there, add is there, meta tag is there, body is there, right? So these are the just very much similar to these elements, right? So whenever you are using this web element and if you are finding particular element, they will return these elements. Make sense? Uh, so to handle these elements in Selenium, it pro basically provided a interface, right? Uh, so web element also uh, is implemented by Android 
web element whenever we are using an android uh, web form html unit one and remote one so whenever we are using basically selenium grid and all we can use remote web element in that case right methods of web elements so uh, let me show you practically rather than going towards it right so first of all uh, if you know we can do web driver right so if you see web driver let's make the driver and if you see uh if we do web drive uh so suppose let's make it for firefox first right right and here if you do driver dot right so if you do the dot it will you will see the couple of lots of different method which are already provided by it right so suppose uh if I'm not using any class. I'm directly using new web driver, right? Then what I have to do is that I have to implement all these methods, which is get, get current URL, get title, get list of web elements, find elements, right? These are, these are, these, uh, they are coming from the search context, right? Uh, page source, close, quit, right? So I have to implement, and these are the functions actually are implemented by Chrome web, Chrome web driver class firefox web driver class as well as ie or opera so that's why it is coming here right, so let me undo and it is already implemented by the firefox so that's why it is working fine make sense so similarly we have web element right so let's make it element new right you cannot make it new it basically generally you use this basically two functions to get any kind of element you basically tell okay by id right suppose that we are using any kind of id right and after that in the element you can have couple of methods that you can do for example send keys clear get attribute display all other methods that you can use it right so that's all the element that is supported by this right makes sense right so i hope uh, this is this was a quick video about it how what is the major difference between the web element and web driver interface i hope you have got for the answer and if you are like if you want to learn more about the api testing selenium and other tutorials regarding please do check out my playlist section it contains more than 200 videos right thanks a lot for watching till now i'll see you in the next video